What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am the Bald Ginger. We are jumping back into some road to the show today. We got a three-game set against the Washington Nationals, who have been doing absolutely terrible this season so far. So hopefully we can take two, maybe even sweep the three-game series. Bottom of the second. They got me batting, batting sixth today. 16 home runs on the series on the season so far. 271 batting average. One out. Runner on first. We got Mackenzie Gore on the mound. He throws a 97 mile an hour four seamer. Nothing else too fast. The slider will hit 90. First pitch from the lefty, taken outside for a ball. One and zero the count now after that 12-6 curve is way outside. Next pitch from him here. Ooh. Wow. Not cool, dude. Nearly hits me right in the head. Three to nothing to score now. Bottom of the fourth as we jump ahead. I got hit by a pitch in the second inning there. We have a runner on first and nobody out. We're going to do a dynamic challenge here. Uh, double or better. What the heck? Maybe he can give me something in the zone that I can get a bat on. First pitch from Gore this time around. Ooh, late swing on the four-seamer in the top of the zone. That would have been a good one. But it's fouled off into the stands. 0-1 pitch here. Oh, gripped it and ripped it on the slider. A little bit out in front, though, and pulled it foul, so it's an 0-2 count in a hurry. Third pitch of the at-bat on the way here from Mackenzie Gore. Oh, fouled off another four-seamer. It's still an 0-2 count, putting a lot of free souvenirs in the hands of the people in the stands. Next 0-2 pitch. And we send one out to right field. Right fielder's running back on it, but he's going to have an easy time out there making the play for the first out here in the bottom of the fourth. Bottom of the fifth. It is now a 5 to nothing ball game. Cardinals in the lead. Two outs and a runner on second here. I am 0 for 1 on the day with a hit by pitch and a fly out on my line score. Got Mason Thompson on the mound now for the Nationals. First pitch from him. Oh, breaks my bat. First baseman's going to get the ball there, tag me out, running down the line. And that retires the side here in the bottom of the fifth. Top of the sixth. Still a 5 nothing ball game. Runners on first and second. Two away here. Luis Garcia at the plate for the Nationals. He sends one out towards the hole. Oh, I just barely missed it. Dang it. Dove to stop it, but he still gets the base hit because I did not get my glove on it quite well enough. So now the bases are loaded. They didn't do anything with it, though, as the bottom of the seventh here. It's a six to nothing ball game still. St. Louis in the lead, run around first and one away as I'm standing in for the fourth time in this one. Mason Thompson on the mound for Washington. He's got a 97 mile an hour sinker, 98 on the four seamer, 90 on his circle change as well. Slider only hits 87. Swing and a miss on that slider at 85 over the outside corner. Good pitch there. Owen won the count after not making contact there. Second pitch. Got a piece of the slider this time over the outside corner, but still way out in front of it. So fouled it off down the third baseline there. Owen to the count because of it. Here we go. Pitch number three of the at-bat. Right to the first baseman. Call that one a 1-6 Double play to end the inning. Not pretty. Not pretty at all. We do take the win, though. Not a shocker. 7 to nothing. the final score. We're moving on into game number two. While that one's loading in, I'd like to remind you, if this is your first time watching a video from the channel, please subscribe or at least think about doing so. And if uh, it really suits your fancy, drop a like or a comment underneath the video here. All those things help me out with the YouTube algorithm, and I greatly appreciate it. Okay, game number two here. I'm batting third in the order. It's two outs and nobody on as I'm standing in here in the bottom of the first. Uh, Josiah Gray is on the mound. I can't see. What is that? 97 mile an hour four seamer. 97 on the two seamer. Circle change also hits 90. Here we go with the first pitch in this at bat. Chopper to the second baseman. He's going to relay to first in plenty of time. Gets me by a step and a half. And that retires the side in the bottom of the first. All right, top of the second. Runners on second and third. Two away. Nationals have a 1-0 lead here. We have Brian or Elian 
Green. Eliah Green. Good Lord, I can't read. He's at the plate for the Nationals. He's going to hit one out here. I'll get a glove on that. Throw to first, and that gets us out of the jam. And we're heading on to the bottom of the second with a score one to nothing. Washington in the lead. Bottom of the third, though, it's a four to one ball game now. St. Louis has come back with a vengeance here. Got the three run lead now. Runner on first, nobody out. Still Josiah Gray on the mound for Washington. First pitch this at bat. Just off the outside corner there, taken for a ball. 1-0 the count from that pitch. Let's see what we get here for pitch number two. Oh, chopper to the shortstop. He's not going to worry about the runner going to second. Gets me at first for the easy out. So now we have a runner on second and one away in the bottom of the third. Bottom of the fourth, we're back at it. 0 for 2 with a pair of ground outs. 0 for 5 on the series so far. It's a 6-1 ball game, St. Louis in the lead. There is two outs and nobody on. We're going to try to hit a single or better. We have Rob Clausen on the mound for Washington now. He's got a 94 mile an hour two seamer, 90 on the slider, 83 on the 12 6 curve. First pitch from him here. Ooh, interesting pitch. Two seamer there over the outer third of the plate and a uh, little bit weird pitching motion there. It's not quite a submariner, but he's close. And a pop-up, 12-6 curve on the inside corner. First baseman runs over to the dirt to make the play. And that ends the inning. Here we go, moving on. Top of the fifth. One out, nobody on for Lane Thomas. He's 0 for 1 on the day. He did draw a walk in the third inning. He's got an 0-1 count here against Martin Perez. Let's see what he does with this pitch. Easy ground ball, ground ball towards the hole. Holy cow. Lazy throw animation, but we do get him by a step for the second out here in the top of the fifth. Fast forward to the top of the seventh. Kiebert Ruiz is at the plate. One for two on the day with a solo homer. He's been the only offensive production. As far as the scoreboard's concerned for Washington, he's going to hit a little grounder to me. We'll get him at first piece of cake play. That is the first out in the top of the seventh. One out later, there's a runner on first and two away. We have Eliah Green. He's standing up to the plate here. Full count in this at-bat. Let's see what happens here with the payoff pitch from Perez. He hits it towards the middle. We get a glove on it. Throw to first. And that retires the side. We're heading to the seventh inning stretch, kids. Don't forget your Cracker Jack. All right, coming back after the stretch. Belly full of Cracker Jack, here we go. Six to one score. Nobody out, nobody on. We have Mason Thompson on the mound now. He's got a 97 mile an hour sinker. 98 on the four seamer, 90 on his circle change as well, and a slider at 87. First pitch inside with the sinker, taken for a ball. They've got some guys warming up in the bullpen there on the Washington side of things. Let's see what we get for the second pitch of this at bat. Oh, swinging at the circle change at the knees. Got a piece of it. Didn't go anywhere except foul. So we have a one and one count now. Next pitch from Thompson here. Below the knees with the slider, but I did get a piece of it. Fouled it off again. We're looking at a one and two count here. Uh, let's see if we can get something better to swing at. Oh, grip it and rip it into center field. Center fielder running in, makes the play on the run. Heck of an effort there. Got to tip your cap to that one. That's the first out here in the bottom of the seventh. Bottom of the eighth, it's a 10-1 to one ball game. Two outs, nobody on. I'm standing in for the fifth time here. Still rocking the over in this game. We have R.J. Dabovich on the mound for Washington. He's got a 96-mile-an-hour four-seamer, 94 on the two-seamer. Nothing else quick. First pitch. Give a two-seamer a ride out into center field again. Center fielder has plenty of time to get to that one to make the play to end the eighth inning. We take the win here. Not much of a shocker. 10-1 to the final score. We're moving on to game number three. We've won the first two. Let's see if we can complete the sweep here. We really need it. As coming into this series, we were two games behind the Cubs in the division. And here we go. Bottom of the first. I'm batting third again. Runner on second. One away. Got a 266 batting average this season. Pitcher on the mound is Trevor Williams now. He's got a 93 mile an hour four seamer, 91 on the sinker, nothing else quick. First pitch from him. <laughs> Lazy slider off the outside corner. 
And I ground out to the shortstop there for the second out in the first inning. Not a good time there. Still no score as we jump back into it top of the third. Two outs and nobody on for Jackson uh, Churio. Yeah, we'll say Churio. He's got no batting average here. He's only had a couple of at-bats, maybe. And this little ground ball to me is going to be uh, maintaining the triple zero batting average so far for that guy. All right. Moving on, bottom of the third, two outs, nobody on. Still have Trevor Williams on the mound for Washington. No score here. First pitch of this at-bat is on the way. Got me to swing through the curveball. That's unfortunate. Oh, and won the count now after that swing and a miss. I was just a little bit out in front of that bad boy. And we'll take the circle change inside for a ball. That evens up the count at one and one. Come on, big fella. Give me something good to swing at. Nope, not going to happen there. Four-seamer inside, taken for ball two. Two and one the count now. Come on, big fella. All I need is one mistake in location. We can have us a ball game. Four-seamer below the knees. It was over the plate, but below the knees. Call the ball, so three and one the count now. Got Arenado in the on-deck circle here. Let's see if we get first base the easiest way possible by drawing a walk. No, sir. Four-seamer there ripped into right center field. And it's over the wall. Long ball to keep things going here in the third. It is now a one-to-nothing ball game. What is that? Home run number 17 on the season. Gotta love it. All right, bottom of the fourth. It's a seven-to-nothing ball game. Runner on second. Nobody out as I'm standing in for the second time in two innings. One for two line score after hitting that long ball. We got Rob Clawson on the mound for Washington. Now 94 is the speed for his two-seamer. 90 on the slider and a 12-6 curve in the low 80s. And I serve one up into right center field there. That's going to get down for extra bases. It's going all the way to the wall in the alley. I'll hold up at second. It's an RBI double here in the fourth inning to make it an 8 to nothing ball game. Holy cow, here we go. That home run in the third just opened up the floodgates. 9 to nothing. the score now in the top of the fifth as we come back to it. Johan Mises at the plate for Washington. The runner on first and one away. 0-2 oh the count here against starter Jordan Lyles. Here's the pitch. We're looking double play all the way. It's going to go to first. Oh, it gets by the first baseman. All the way down the right field line there. Right fielder gets a glove on it. And, yep, the runner holds up at third there. So we have runners on the corners here in the top of the fifth with only one away. Washington's making a show of it. 9-1 to one is the score, though, in the bottom of the fifth as I'm coming in for the, to the batter's box for the fourth time in this one. Two outs, runner on first. We have Rob Clawson on the mound again. Let's see what we get here in this at-bat. First pitch, swinging, fouled it off down the right field line there. That's off the netting above the tarp. 0-1 oh, the count after that. Let's see what we get with pitch number two. Oh, Chopper to the second baseman. He throws to second for the force out there, and that retires the side here in the bottom of the fifth. All right, bottom of the seventh. Two outs and a runner on second. The score is now 11-1. to one. We are really piling it on here. Victor Arano on the mound for Washington. He's got an 87-mile-an-hour slider, 96 on the sinker, and 97 on a four-seamer. First pitch here. Is a burner that I send right back up the middle. That's probably going to score the run from second. Yeah, even though the guy's got zero speed, he makes it all the way from second base to make it a 12-1 to ball game and an RBI single for me. I like it. Bottom of the eighth, that is a 16-1 to ball game now. You've got to be kidding me. Runner on second, nobody out. Mason Thompson on the mound for Washington. He's got a 97-mile-an-hour sinker, 98 on the four-seamer, 90 on a circle change, 87 on the slider. First pitch there, chopped it to second base, and that's going to be a ground out to advance the runner to third. So it's kind of like a sacrifice, but hey, we will take it. It's not like we're in danger of losing this one. I take that back. 16-7 to is now the score. Top of the ninth, runner on first and one away. Kiebert Ruiz at the plate. He's one for four on the day here. Owen won the count against reliever Archie Bradley. And let's see what this pitch does here. Sends one up the middle. Shortstop gets a glove on it. Throws to me at second. Jump throw to first. And there it is. Six, four, three, double play to retire the side. End the game and complete the sweep against the Washington Nationals. 
So there you have it, boys and girls, a quick three-game series against Washington. We sweep them. And since it's the end of the series, it's also going to be the end of the episode. For those of you still hanging out with me, thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and do all the fun social media things. And we will catch you in the next one.